went Woo. too far. <laughs> there we are. Welcome to Real Green World. That's right, the show where we talk about green. For the rest of us. You and me and everyone else who drives an SUV. Has too many kids. Eats fast food. Eats fast food. <laughs> Got that a little backwards. A little tired here today. We're coming from the slopes of Deer Valley. Woo! Empire Pass. We've been Empire talking Peak. about it for weeks. Yeah. We're coming to you live via recording. That's right. <laughs> Thanks to our new flip video. So you want to finish that piece where we say it's not green for your wallet and the environment. Then it don't count. Because last time we checked, they're, they're both, both green. green. All right. Whoa. So. Dear Valley. Dear Valley. That's a good segue. That we've is. Got, we've got a great interview today. With Julie. Yeah. Julie. Kalar, 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 Kalar. Yep. Well, she's uh, she works for Deer Valley. Works it's, for Bob Wheaton. Yeah, the, uh, she's her uh, general manager of the resort. Yep. She's the executive uh, assistant, but she's also in charge of the green initiative. That's right. She's it. She's the go-to person. And uh, Deer Valley's got a great green initiative. That's why we came here today to talk to them about it. But uh, in the meantime, before we get to our interview, what do we want to do? Well, uh, let's see, we got uh, Real Green History we got to do before the end of the show. Uh -huh. We got uh, Real Green Meter. Real Green Meter. We'll have to do that later. Yeah. Um, we'll splice that in. You won't even be able to tell. No, not at all. It'll look like we're standing right here. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things. This is not going to be an unedited show. Yeah. Ain't going to happen. We couldn't bring all the stuff up here. We need a cameraman. Anyone want to volunteer to be our cameraman? We'd love that. Call. We'll take an editor too. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, so we want to do uh, this day in real green history. Yeah. All right. So. This is this day in real green history. That's so right. I think it's my turn to no. ask you a question, isn't it? No, it's not. It's my turn. It's your turn. Yeah, because you asked me. No. Yeah, it's yours. Go. Okay. You're up. This day in real green history. I think we, what we need to do is uh, talk to people about you and I, how we met. And uh, so we haven't, we haven't touched on that yet, I don't think. We talked about the first meeting. First meeting. But not really how we so to be friends. Yeah. So uh, let me ask you this. Um, we met, started working together. Um, at some point, I guess we started uh, to kind of hang out and, and uh, get the families together. First time we invited you to dinner yeah. at Dino's. Dino's down in Salt Lake. It's a green business. they got a garden right in the back of that Italian yeah. place. Italian restaurant. Very good. Um, and then after that, we, uh, we had dinner at my house. Had all the kids up. And that's right. Brought the whole troop. And uh, the kids were bored first. Of all. We sat on the back deck. And laughed our brains off. Yeah, and we were talking about <laughs> Boss's uh, friend Jenny. Jenny? Yeah, and you go, that's, that's Bajene. That's right. We still laugh about that. I wonder if I can work in that's Bajene into every episode. No problem. Well, we did it last time because we had Jenny. That's right. And you said it last week. Yeah. But that was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. All right. I mean, when we were at Got Beauty. That's right. So then, no, plug, plug, for, plug for Got Beauty. So. So. That's, uh, that was this day in, in real green history. Speaking of Got Beauty, oh, get a load of this. So we have $25 gift certificate that we are going to give away. That's right. To yeah. Got Beauty. Beauty, eh? Beauty, eh? Okay, um, here. You can use your hat? Yeah. All right. I already got it off. So hold it up. We couldn't find the green bowl, so we got a green hat instead. All right. So who's winning? So, this is uh, from Dan Fogel. Dan says, thanks for sharing the letter from Frito-Lay. I was disheartened to hear that society was more concerned about the noise level than a more eco-friendly bag. Good to hear Frito-Lay hasn't given up completely. Not so much a question as it is Oh, you, a you cut off the bottom part of the question, dude. 
I did? Yeah. Dan was the guy that... What did he ask? He asked about uh, landfills. Oh. Does anyone know... There we go. There it is. Does anyone know the science behind landfills? My recent understanding is that garbage is basically mummified, so decom decomposition doesn't really occur. So if this is true, are we running into another challenge on how to dispose of the new decomposing bags? I would say a little yes and a little no on them. If the bag decomposes in the in the gigantic bag that they put in the landfills, it's still decomposing. Yeah. I don't think that that's a problem for Frito Lay or the bag itself. Um, yeah, it doesn't really end up benefiting the environment. Not really. Which you know, if it decomposes, then it becomes dirt. It's true. Like, and they mix dirt in with the, with the, with the landfill. Yeah, but the some landfills, we, we've been kind of playing around and trying to get some homework. We're going to try and get someone on the show. Um, uh, that we, we have a friend who owns a landfill. We'll see if uh, he could come on. Yep. We also have contacts to waste management. We're going to try a couple of different things yep. and uh, see if early next year we can't get this answered a little more thoroughly. But some, my understanding is some landfills are... The big bag theory. Yeah. And some, they're just burying it in the dirt. Wow, that guy's really cruising. Most of them are just burying it in the dirt. That guy skis like Stein. Yeah, he's, he's nuts. <laughs> Love it. Wow, we came back a week later for another one, and the Ferrari's still here. here. <laughs> What's amazing is, it's not in the dirt. How did he get it up here? Did he helicopter it in? So we sat with Julie today and um, talked a lot about uh, green, the green initiatives that they have here at Deer Valley and she's going to get into detail with that. Mm -hmm. And her personal favorite subject which is the food, the food and what, they, what they do here that is really a green initiative with their food prep. Not only that, it's really good. It is. It's great. So we're going to cut to that. That was a great interview, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was wonderful. We rushed all the way down there to Snow Park Lodge, <laughs> did that interview, and got all the way back up here again. Set the camera up again. Right in the same spot. We left our poles right here so we know where to come. <laughs> well, thanks to Julie for taking time out of her day yep. uh, to, uh, to do an interview with us. And we've uh, we've got a Deer Valley hat that we're giving yes. away at the, uh, the next... Um, next week's episode so uh put in your questions we really need questions yeah we do uh, yeah. Have more questions gotta have more questions well because dan just won the gift certificate to got beauty and uh, it, i hope dan's got long hair like dennis's yeah and he can <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen his gift picture certificate. on linkedin i'm thinking dan doesn't have long hair <laughs> well maybe he can get a christmas present for you. that he could do because they got the online uh website yeah that's true got the online right? yeah all right. Well, well, that's our show. What, are we missing something? Probably. You know what? We didn't get uh, nobody called in. Maybe that's because my ringer got turned. Who's calling in? No. Let's see. You got your phone? No one's called you either for goddamn no, I know. Who's calling in? Who's calling in? Who's calling in? Let's see here. Hang on. Just a second. I got so much stuff going on. I got my music going on. I got my ringer turned down. I think I hear mine ringing. I think yours is going to be ringing in just a second here if you hold on. It's ringing. 
Is it? Yeah, it should be ringing right about now. Yeah, it's got to be. You hear, oh, here it is. Here it is. Let me get this. I need to get this. Sorry. Hello. Oh, hi. Dude, who is it? Wow. I haven't heard from you in a long time. It's been 20 years probably. Really? You're watching the show? Uh-huh. Yeah? Okay. 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 All right. Well, yeah. call me later. We'll catch up. Bye. So who was that? That was the 80s. They want their ski outfit back. I know. We went a long way for that one, didn't we? This actually is my ski outfit. <laughs> the gloves aren't mine. Check them, though. They're awesome. <laughs> All right. So that was our show for this week. Thanks for watching. Real Green World. <laughs> We're all way out of whack today. Wow. Yeah, we have no little... We, got, we have our cars. No. Couldn't ski so. with them. But, let's just say this. If it's not green for the environment... And for your wallet... Then it don't count. Because the last, last time, time we, we checked, checked they're, they're both green. green. And something about trees, too. Yeah, well, next time you look in your wallet, think about the trees. That one. Right. That was a pretty good one. <laughs> See you next week. Bye.